Welcome to Fast Cars, Fast Girls. We are your IndyCar experience. Well, Molly, we have had um, a heck of a weekend at Road America. Whew, we have. Um, and half of it was just trying to get to and from Road America. No, just <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the drive to and from was the drive to end all drives. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's all right. Okay. It's okay. all right. We had construction every mile on the way up. Literally. Yes. Literally every every motherfucking mile. And then on yes. the way home, we took this detour, and there were a few places where we had to squirrel around. We were told that it would only take 45 minutes extra. That was a lie. That was a whole lie. It took nine hours to get home. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, and you're thinking, ladies, don't you have a map? Yeah. Yeah. We took some bad advice. Yep. In retrospect, we should have just country roaded it. Yeah. And then they squirrel you out of Road America one way, and it's a whole thing. We really needed to go the other way. And so that was a whole thing. And, but, uh, but yeah, but we made it there and we made it home and we had a hell of a good time while we were there. And at the end, it was fun. So that's all that matters. That is all that matters. Um, well, I guess let's just dig right into the race. I was to say, there's only one way to do this. Back to front. Back to front. So, <clears throat> starting 24th, finishing 25th, Dalton Kellett. I just, oh, poor Dalton. I just, first of all, I listened to the IndyCar radio, and I re-watched the broadcast, and I don't feel at any point... Anybody addressed what happened to Dalton Kellett? It was just no. suddenly Dalton Kellett's out, and I was like, "What?" So I had to look it up. <laughs> so I was like, "Why is he out of the damn race with like a mechanical issue?" That's, nobody talked about it. Poor Dalton Kellett. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about it till you mentioned it. But no, nobody said a word. <laughs> oh, poor Dalton Kellett. So, at first he missed the final practice, which was not a warm up. It was a final practice. Um, yep. Because they had to fix a wiring issue that got fixed, but then in but the race. It. But did well, it get fixed? <laughs> first there was a overheated gear unit, which typically if things overheat, hey, you got a wiring problem. <clears throat> and then all I could tell from the AJ Foy press release was that there was ultimately another issue that they could not fix. And so he just retired with a mechanical issue that no one talked about. <laughs> oh. oh, poor Dalton Kellett. Poor Dalton Kellett. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even notice that. Oh. Only All because right. I listened to both. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. Filling in in the seven this week um, for Felix Rosenquist, we had Kevin Magnuson. Magnuson. There we go. Magnuson. Magnuson? Magnuson. All right. Fuck that well, all up. Yeah. It's all right. Yep. I mean. Magnuson. All right. Hey, he led six laps. Let's go. Okay, Kevin. And you know what? He was extremely personable to fans. Like, yeah. I feel like Magnuson was living his best life. I mean, we've had many discussions with many people about Formula One drivers in IndyCar. And I know this person might be listening right now, and you and I can fight at Mid-Ohio later. Mm-hmm. But the current two... Well, the current F1 driver and then Magnuson, who, who popped over for a, for a spell, yep. um, they've both been very out. Like, they're just, they're happy to be in IndyCar. They're like, this is cool. We yes. love racing. Like, we can just hang out with your fans. I appreciate that. Um, so I do, too. They, they very much have been like, this is kind of badass. Okay. 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 Like, the racing is challenging. Your fans are sometimes also challenging, but okay, but, here but I am. Mostly pretty legit. But um, legit, just challenging. <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him in a couple more races. 
ah, come on back. I mean, it was the, the car just damn stopped. Um, that also was very funny in the broadcast where they were like, must be an electrical issue because all of the lights turned off. And I was like, like everything. Like, he just lost power. I love that he was just like, I'm just going to coast it right over here. Right. right and his there. audio was like, just turned off. And they're like, can you coast it over? And he was already like, Screw. right. Yep. Done and done, my friend. What happened? The car turned off. The car said no. It stopped, guys. It just stopped, and I'm not a mechanic. It said no, thank you. It would like some cheese curds, so we're just going to, me and the car are going to hang out here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love it. Next up, starting 12th, finishing 23rd, which is a shame because he was having a hell of a good race. He was. Until he wasn't. Uh. Um, Ed Jones, who was up there moving and shaking. I mean, really battling with different drivers throughout the entire race. Um, And, I mean, started, what did I say, 12th? Um, Yes. That top 10 many many times yes um, but had a tire failure and uh, and it, it was failed hard yeah I was gonna say keeping with the theme of 2021 which is apparently fuck tires uh, <laughs> right I mean, it didn't I mean, yeah. off but it basically like just popped and like burp, like bent it felt like it was it was spectacular again, again. tires like tires, dude. Not an unusual amount of tire-related incidents. Like yes, yes. Oh. Well, red. Joe. Oh, so, but yeah. Until then, he was having a great race. <laughs> yep. Next up, starting twenty-third, finishing twenty-second. Consistency from Jimmy Johnson. He wasn't he. He was only like a lap down. Um, think so that's improvement. Um, in fact, at one he point was he only e- one lap down. He was almost on the lead lap. <laughs> almost on the and like at one point in the in the IndyCar radio broadcast, they were like, and then there's Jimmy Johnson, and like he even tried to pass Max Chilton. It didn't happen, but he tried to pass, so that's improvement. And I just was like, technically, yes, that is an improvement. It is. I mean, I just, and again, I will say this. He has only been involved in single car incidents. Hey, oh. at least he's not taking anybody else out. That, I mean, okay. Let's focus on the positives. You know what? Let's focus on the positives. Oh, only a lap down, single car incident. Okay. 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 Yeah. I think that's all I have to say. The broadcast does more than enough for us. Yeah, I think that's it. Starting first, oh. led the most laps. Oh. Finishing 21st, God. Mr. Joseph Newgarden. Hi. Mm. Like two two weekends in a row. Um, shit, man. <laughs> Oof. Just... Cause, ah, uh, he. I can't remember who it was. I think it was. Was it Scott McLaughlin who basically was like, you know, Joseph did not put a foot wrong until yeah. and and whatever this was, because well, I know what it was. He had a gearbox issue like real early on. Yeah. But then like, don't worry, like it's a one time occurrence. Which it wasn't. Um The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Because apparently he was like, I tried to get it. I was trying to shift again. And basically it was like, nope. That's right. It flipped into emergency mode. Yeah, and it had, had done that earlier emergency. on. Yeah. And then it went back in emergency mode. And I mean, he fell like a stone. It, because we, he was coming into our view when it was all happening. And you could just see him like to one side and just the train of cars passing him. And at yes. one point, I just want to be like, Dear God, he's dead. Stop feeding his corpse, guys. Like, shit. Oh. Only one person who wasn't out of the race Pat didn't pass him, and it was Jimmy Johnson. Okay, <laughs> everybody else was out of the race. Hey, they were still racing for position. I ain't mad at him. 
I know, but it just, you felt bad at that point. I mean, yeah, it didn't feel, I don't feel like anybody felt good about that. Like, they did it because it was for points, but yeah, you're not going home feeling warm and fuzzy for that. It's like when you pass the pa- when you're at the stoplight with the panhandlers, you just don't make eye contact as you go by. That's exactly what all of the drivers are like. I can't look over. This They're like, I'm not. Like, sorry, I'm sorry, man. I, I can't. I can't look at you. Sorry, man. My bad. Thank goodness they don't have like driver to driver because every single one would be like, my bad, bro. My bad, bro. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Instead of good game, instead just be like, my bad. My sorry. Bad. Be... This sucks. I still gotta get jump points, though. Right, like, still trying to find a red for next year. <laughs> hey, yo, your spot open next year. No, just kidding. Right. <laughs> it's Tell not. Roger to give me a call. Uh. Hey, yo, can you slip my number to Roger? <laughs> oh. That's just, it's two weekends in a row for him. Well, it really is. Yeah, it is. It just sucks. It does suck. It's a weird weekend for Penske. Yeah. Next up, starting 15th, finishing 20th, Connor Daly. You know, um, Connor didn't have like a singular incident that caused some, some badness. I'm just so like my father said, you know, they were really knocking into one another, which is true. There was a lot of like dust ups, little little scuffles and kerfluffles. Yes. Which is awesome. But unfortunately, that means usually one driver is just unfortunately punted. Not yes. because of like a car, but just basically on the losing end, and uh, uh, turned into Connor Daly. It did, <clears throat> it did, and um, I mean, and it started on lap two. Like Sato bumped into him, and then Sato had to give a spot back for avoidable contact. But like, I just, and I feel like yeah. people just bump into Connor a lot. I, yeah, I, I feel like is. I, like I don't know what it is about his front wing, but it seems to be extremely attractive. To other it's, drivers. It's not the red, right? Because it's not the, it's the different. Yeah, yeah no, it's not red. Because I was thinking of like last year's livery. I thought it was, re- maybe not. There was red on it last year. There was. Well, the, um. The Air yeah, Force. Like the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because like if it's red, I don't know, somehow you're attracted to go towards red. But now it's like not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it. <sighs> Leave Connor alone, guys. Yes. We mean it. Hashtag free Connor. Wait. Ah, hmm. uh, well, all right. Off from Connor into another C. Um, start. I don't. Know, that was the worst segue I know. Started twenty fifth, ended nineteenth. Cody Ware. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. That's not bad. That's not bad right. for your first time out. Okay. That's not too shabby at all. Huh. Not too shabby at all. I will say it was awkward when we were standing at pit in and uh, they were trying to get his car fired up for like the first time to go out um, for practice. And it took him a couple of times. That was a little awkward. It did. I mean, you know what? Everybody has to learn. It's like, I mean, nobody learned a stick shift and didn't kill it a few times. You know, it just it was super awkward because everybody was just kind of staring. We were just there. And yeah. And like all of the other cars were out. And so everybody was just kind of like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, everybody can see my man. <laughs> like, yep. Yep, they yep. can. That is that is a fact. Everybody can see right now. Everybody can see right now. So. <laughs> Other than that, great time. Good time first out. He was, he was jazzed. He was excited about it. That's what I love to see. Oh, he was jazzed about it. And, yeah, I'm here with you. And you know what? Again, the more different types of drivers, the more eyes, and the more different types of drivers we have that are genuinely excited about coming to IndyCar. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just think that that that's all. One, those are all wonderful things. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's not like they're, you know, we're not where you go to put F1 drivers out to pasture. Um, <laughs> Or anything of that nature. Uh, so I like Apparently, we're going to just fight in mid Ohio, huh? Not you and I, but. But yeah, no. <laughs> FYFM, come at me, bro. Um, but, but yeah, like the yeah. active drivers are excited and they're like, yeah, man. And like, this was fucking hard. Like, it was harder than I thought it was going to be. Right? They're like, this was fucking hard. I had a great time, though. Like, awesome. 
You know yeah. what? Thank you. I appreciate that. That's what I want to yeah. hear. Not like, meh, 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 meh. Exactly. If you come with an attitude, we'll just, why don't you go ahead and just ask Fernando Alonso how to work out for him? Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. All right. The okay, track, okay. she will get you. She will. She a hateful bitch. Mm-hmm. She know. She knows. <laughs> she doesn't play. Does. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah. next up, starting six, finishing 18th, Simon Pagano. It's just not a really, like, a but for Will, I don't know, Grant for the Penske's. Simon, yeah. too. It was not a great weekend for RP. Yeah. 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 Is that what I heard? I know. So does the next one. Yeah. Hey, started... you weren't the one who had a $5 bet on it. <laughs> Why do you keep making bets and not telling me about them? I like to gamble, too. You had your headphones in, and I didn't make the bet. So Doug turned to me. But I'm. You gotta, oh, nope, you gotta yell at Doug. You gotta yell at Doug. Well, that's fine, but come on. Be it a was friend. between you and I. That was also the problem. Mm, there was space between us. Yeah, and he was there. Yeah. But anyhow, I'm sorry to anybody who can hear my cat in the background, by the way. I might not be able to. Stop it. Well, I mean, now they're going to pay attention if you yell at the cat. <laughs> Just, I don't know what she wants. Uh, all right, so the next one. Yeah, you, you lost $5. Starting third, finishing 17th, Jack Harvey. It, who has been qualifying like a son of a bitch recently. Like, good for him. Good for him. And really, like, on lap one, he was actually, he jumped Colton and was P2. They just had, it's, they did a pit stop gamble. And sometimes when you gamble, you lose and have to pit late in the race. And on a four mile track, it's a little hard. It is. It, it is. That's a thing. Like, you miss a pit. It's four miles. Like, that's that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing. Uh, a lot of strategery. So, yep. I was I was not going to... I was going to get $5 until that pit, and I was like, damn it. Son of a bitch. I was, it's a late pit stop. He ain't coming back from it. I was like, eh. What's your memo again, man? <laughs> right. And, all right. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't pay him until we got home. <laughs> <laughs> naturally. Right. Naturally. Uh starting eleventh, finishing sixteenth, Sebastian Bourdais. Um Yeah. He was like weirdly behind pace. Well, he had got he got knocked at some point. Yeah. Like right in the first he also got he was part of Sato's destruction. <sighs> Path of destruction, yeah. Yeah, like right in Canada corner and then I think from that hit on, the car just wasn't real. Like, it just knocked it, right? It just took a good car and was like, boop. Yep. It did. But at least we all know what happened to that A.J. Foyt driver, unlike the other one. (laughs) It's true. Dalton Kelly. (laughs) Poor Dalton. Oh, next up, starting now. Poor Dalton Kelly. That's how I am in this world right now. (laughs) It's a weird feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little bad, but not a lot bad. I mean, I'm not going to, like, write him a card or anything. It just sucks. It's like, well, we're all... What happened? Like, nobody mentioned it, really. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's... Like, A, it's sad, but B, it is kind of funny. It is, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Next up, starting 19th, finishing 15th, James Henchcliffe. Hey, you know what? We had a typical safe mid pack race from him. Um, yep. Just not sure if that's good or bad, right? Like, okay. Yep. Yep. Starting 17th, finishing 14th, Scott McLaughlin. Um, who apparently really enjoyed Wisconsin. Good for you, Scott. Um, good for you, Scotty. And he improved. So for a rookie year, I'm out of that. Not too shabby. I mean, I expected him to do better just because he has too. typically done better, but, but yeah. But, you know, first time we're in America, it's a tough course. Tough course. And I think he falls under the whole, like, is a rookie, 
but isn't a rookie, but yeah. therefore we don't quite judge him as a rookie. But like, yeah, this was his first time. Let's say the word rookie again. I know everyone. <laughs> um, yeah. This is his first time at Road America. It is. So it, it's his rookie year there. It's, they, thank you. <laughs> it is a tough course, too. So it is a tough course. It's he long. improved. So, like, yeah. it's not something he should be ashamed of. But yeah, we all, it's like, well, it was like how we all felt with Robert Wickens when he first came over. We were yes. like, I was just thinking that. It's like, yeah. yeah. You come out strong the first couple of races. And then during that first year, you have a bad race and everybody's like, what, what the, the hell? hell? And you're like, yeah. Hmm. And it's like, oh, it is your rookie year. My bad. Overreaction. My B, my B man. My B man. We cool. We cool. <laughs> we good. Uh, but yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I'm with you on that. Next up, starting eighth, finishing 13th in the DHL Pride livery, which was very cool. And very uh, pretty in person. It was very pretty in person. Good for you, DHL. Yeah. Um, Ryan Hunter Ray. Which I feel like that his ending spot doesn't represent like he put how on hard a good, he fought at his entire like, race. He put on a good race. Like he was scrapping. Yeah, um, like watching Ryan Hunter Ray, people were trying to overtake him. He's overtaking other people. Like it was it was nonstop. Yeah, he was he was out there for blood. Apparently, okay. Um, yeah. So I think the the end result just doesn't reflect a great the race that he put on. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, next up, filling in for Renus VK, who, um, well, rode his bike without the training wheels too soon. Um, Daddy's not happy. Daddy is not happy. Um, Daddy did not approve the training wheels coming off. He broke his collarbone or clavicle, um, which, fun fact, is the easiest bone in your body to break. I can see that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Oliver Skew filled in and... Started 16th, finished 12th, just a little bit shy of the top 10. Not a bad showing for a kid that I'm sure still really wants an IndyCar ride. And he led two laps. Um, sure, it was through pit cycling, um, but a great, good race. Like, he held it. Um, he was the car who pitted right before Ed Jones's oh, yeah. yellow flag with, I don't know, four laps to go. And at that point, if you pitted at Road America with like three laps to go, do you get back in the car? <sighs> I mean... Do you, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that you should quit, but at that point, I'd be like, eh. Close enough, right? Am I right? All right, guys. Hey, you guys want some ice cream? Like, right, like, we, everyone had Taco Bell on the way out of here. we get some cheese curds before everything shuts down. Oh, cheese curds. But no, good. I think this was a, another good one-off race for Ollie, and I think he's just continuing to be like, look, I can drive. Right? Like, guys, the concussion thing is handled. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm no longer concussed. I am not tainted forever. Please to let me back in the Indy car. Please. Ollie just wants to drive. Drive. He's not concussed. He's not concussed. Uh, starting 14th, finishing 11th, Graham Ray Hall. <sighs> Graham. You know, I'm happy that Graham likes to be scrappy, right? That's fine, sure. Graham. Sure. I'm just tired of him being pissy at everyone else who wants to be scrappy. Just, yeah, if you're gonna dish it out, you gotta take it. You gotta take it. And Them's like, the rules. He's out there trading paint. Cool, man. I love it. I love to see you guys. Like I, elbows, as they say, the elbows, elbows out, and everybody oh, yeah. has the damn el- elbows out. All race. Yep. Grant's like Sharon Show is trying to cut me off. Bitch, I just saw you try and cut off three other drivers. Right. Like. No. Sit down. Stop. Also, Stop. Just, I have cranky feelings towards Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan whilst at Road America. Well, part of that is because they need to buy a suite and not take up our entire spot on Fireman's Hill. Right, not take up the GA seating. Guys, come on. And, like, you park your golf cart in a prime golf cart location, but then you don't sit in it. Nah. Everybody knows that's not how that works. If you're not going to sit in your golf cart, 
Then you park it behind the stands. Where everybody else parked their golf carts when they weren't in them. So like, if you're, you're the one join us at the DA the one, seating. Follow uh, the rules. You you're the ones who chose to get golf carts without fucking roofs on them. So if you're gonna sit in the stands under the trees because you don't want your bald head to get burned, that's fine. But don't put your golf cart in prime seating where nobody else can sit. Also, when both of your drivers are out of qualifications, fucking leave so the rest of us can. <laughs> Just fucking leave. Why did you stay? The best part, we're like, are they going to leave? Both of their drivers are out of cars now. So I'm yeah, like, Doug was like, ooh, we'll be able to pull up. They didn't leave. They didn't leave. We were, they didn't leave. Well, it was like, we're like, they're really not going to? Like, now it's comical. Hey, did your drive, they didn't advance? Are y'all gonna leave? Cause we'd love to take this spot if you leave in. Like I was about to do the Midwestern thing. Like, hey, are you guys, are you guys going? Cause we would love this table. <laughs> the, the, yes. the, uh, super passive aggressive. Like it's time for you to go, but I can't say that. But I want you to leave. Like we would love this table if you guys are leaving. You guys gonna go soon? Cause we'd love to take this table if you do. Thanks. Yes. Okay, bye. Oh, hysterical. Oh, next up, starting 22nd, talk about trade and pain and having a hell of a race, finishing 10th, Max Chilton, who also Uh, led the second most laps. Yes, he did. And for a while, we were all like, is Max Chilton going to win this race? (laughs) Right? And I was like, I am so here for it. Like, Carlin, Carlin could use a win. Hell yeah. Like, let's do it. And he was super aggressive on that final restart i think he passed three cars mm-hmm. he was like swoop i'm gonna get me some spots i'm gonna get in the top 10 good for you max good that yeah. was a great race for him no it was awesome it was uh, awesome yeah well starting 10th finishing 9th so he improved a spot nearly consistent young yeah. pato award i mean it's a hard track it's a hard track um and he still i mean start in the top 10 finish the top 10 it's solid. Like, I know we all, he's not a rookie. It's only his like, second year. I mean, like, it was a good show. I mean, he was out there. He was being aggressive. He was, he was, he's going to be the new up and coming aggressive driver, apparently. I think so. That's it. That's all I have to say about it. I mean, it's not saying that in a bad way. Yeah. No, just, yeah, yeah I'm with you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Next up, we talked about him a bunch. Um, started 20th, finished 8th. Takuma Sato, say what you want, but that is a hell of a hard charger. Him and Max Chilton both just. I mean, is it hard charging when you take out half? No, he didn't take out half the field. He didn't take out half the field. And he had to give a spot back, too. Like, he I did. Mean... And then, then he had to get his front wing replaced. That's true. That is true. But yeah, Takuma Sato, top 10 finish. Popped and finish. I'll let you do the next one. Oh, I'm so happy. Starting ninth, finishing seventh. Woo! Hey, nearly a top five finish. Alexander Rossi! Woo! Woo! The Woo! Woo! Oh, thank God. Thank God. He's t- it's seven going into mid Ohio, which has just been magical. Um, yay! Tough, top ten finish. No weird shit happening. No oh. weird, hainty bullshit. I mean, that's really all I ask for in life sometimes. This is this is what, like... This is what life as a Rossi fan is. It is now. I mean, this must be how, like, the Cleveland Browns feel. Like, now I'm just excited. No, that... no, 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 no. Because, no. <laughs> it's more like the Cubs fans. Like, sometimes I have good time. Yes. Sometimes I don't have good time. Yeah, it's really more like a Cubs fan. That's what, yeah, actually, what like, I said this morning to my like, boss. the Cubs are still good. Um, and like Rossi is good. He just has horrible luck. A hundred percent this morning. She looked at me and she was like, Rossi. And I was like, Hey, basically this is how Cubs fans feel. And I'm just getting used to it. Um, please talk to me after mid Ohio. Right. I mean, you are, you are definitely not a fair weather fan. No, I can I can see it in in the pain on your face every week. So every I, week, every week. God, he's gonna be one of those drivers that like when he finally does win a championship, like we're all gonna be like, it's about goddamn time. 
And then we will just all rage in a good way. Rage hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't expect me to come to work the next day. I'll be like, why are you hungover? Be like, yeah, Rossi won a championship. And they're like, you're not on his team. Dude, if Rossi <laughs> wins a championship. Technically, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to get Molly to take Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> but we're definitely getting a tattoo. Fuck yeah. Fuck I'm... yeah. I got tattoos, man. You're not on his team. I feel that spiritually I am. Um, actually, everything <laughs> I do has a direct effect on how his day goes. That's how superstitions work. Thank That's how it works, much. damn it. <laughs> <sighs> Starting 18th, finishing 6th, yeah. Marcus Erickson. Well including done. Including a spin. Including a spin. That <laughs> was wild. To his race. It was like, swoop. It was, it was weird, too. I When they showed the replay the first time, I literally thought, did he hit a pothole in the middle of the racetrack? <laughs> right. He's like, not. I know this is the Midwest, it's Wisconsin and shit, but I but, thought they did a track walk. Y'all paved this. I mean, it turns out he just, where he dipped his one wheel off, it was like weirdly lower than the rest of the track, but it looked like he hit a pothole. It totally looks like he hit a pothole. I mean, isn't that the definition? It's like weirdly lower than the rest of the street. Yes. I mean, that's a so, pothole. This was yeah. just off track, though. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's like, it was weird. It was weird, but still a good race for him. Finishing six, just shy of the top five. Yeah. Rounding out our top five, starting seventh, finishing fifth, Ramon Grosjean. All right, guys. Um, I will no longer hear any sort of Grosjean hate because he was out there scrappy and. Oh, and he was letting people know that he was not to be trifled with. Thank you. It wasn't just like he'd he be scrappy like... and back off. Oh, no. He would come oh, no. to fight. Oh, yeah. Like, somebody comes at him. He's like, oh, oh, we throwing bows now? Is that what we're doing? Oh, what it's if... going to be like that. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. And they, they would come after him, like, turn five and, like, turn seven. He'd be like, but the pow, 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 bitch. It's me. Yeah. So, Grishan, get some. You could. You could get Grishan. some. You could. I'm here for it. I am too, man. You could. Yeah. Starting 13th and just sneakily worked his way up to 4th because it's just Dixon doing Dixon things. Yep. Scotty D. Just. All of a sudden it was like, where the fuck did he come from? Now he's in 4th. It's every time you just look away and you look back and you're like, how did Scott Dixon get in the top 5? Literally, I think there were like 13 other battles going on and then all of a sudden it was like, and Scott Dixon is just shy of the podium, which is okay. Just, just it's lurking. In my mind. Like, lurking. It's like Mario Kart, but like a little bit more aggressive where like drivers can battle each other. And then there's just Scott's car like weaving between the fights. Like, <laughs> bye guys, I'm going to see you up at the front. Swoop. Swoop. More, more impressive when you realize like they've had to fix, they had to fix that car, not during the race, but over the weekend, two different times. They did. I just, who did he sell his soul to? I'm like. Dixon doing Dixon things. How? He's he's a Kiwi man. New That's Zealand. That's New Zealand. There you go. New Zealand. And speaking of his continental neighbor. Yes. He's starting <laughs> fourth, finishing third round on our podium. Mr. Will Power. Hey, you know what? We've got a podium and after um Detroit. I'm Ooh, he needed that. He needed that. I think we all needed it for our safety, um, but mm-hmm. he needed it more. Yes, agreed. Fully agreed. So, congrats, Will. <laughs> you deserve that. God, you yes. Did. That you was did. the universe going. Here you go, man. I mean, it would have been better if it was a, if it was a wand, but you know what? It's a podium. It's a podium. We'll take it. Yep. All right. Super consistent. Starting second. Finishing second. Young Colton Herta. Don't sleep on Colton Herta, everyone. Don't sleep on Colton Herta. Don't sleep on Colton Herta. He had a weird issue with his car for the, like the first stint of the race. Was like really getting into some scraps, and yet he, he finished second because he's Colton, young Colton Herta. Because he's young Colton Herta, um, he yep. had a good race. 
and a I, very good race. I think our winner, who started fourth and ended our fifth, and, start fifth. Yep, and ended first. Um, Alex Pillow, who uh, I think is equal parts a great driver and just lucky as hell. And I think is who I predicted was going to be a great driver this year. I put a bet on this too. You did. We both did. did on this. Like so don't don't up. don't sleep on FCFG when we tell you not to sleep on a driver. Yeah. Because yeah. we done called this. Alex Palo. Just great. Having great a hell of a season. Having a Captain hell of a season. I mean, he's showing up and showing off, honestly. He is. He yeah. is indeed. He's like, hey, I know that my teammate is Scott Dixon, but who's ahead in the points right now? He's nuts. No. Um. <laughs> Also me, bitch. I'm about to make twenty dollars. Well, I still got some more time, but uh, currently, it's okay. <laughs> there's a little no. bit of a gap still. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, hey, it was, it was a fine race. Um, we were talking about this before we started recording. It was it was a good race. I think we got spoiled by a lot of really great races, and so we, we have been spoiled. And the fact that it's a four and a half mile course, like it's beautiful and all this business, but. You know, that's where I wish we had a I, – I wish that I had could, I would pay extra for this. Um, but to have a split screen and one just be aerial and the other one be, you know – or one be I can control what angle I'm looking at, whether it's aerial or certain corners, and the other one be whatever's on the broadcast. Because um, for a track like this, I would love to just have the aerial up at all times. I think the problem with the aerial is they even have to kind of move a bit on it. Yeah. Yeah. But – um, but yeah, it didn't feel as exciting just because we've had so many really, really, really great races. And it's not that this was a bad race. We just, no. like, we, we've been spoiled. We've been spoiled. I mean, it was still a great race, but like Detroit was like weirdly exciting and oh, it was great. You know, then we had the 500, like, so yeah, but it's still a very good race. Very good weekend as always in road America. Oh, as always. And we got to see some of our, our race family, which is always good. Um, and thanks to Vin. If you don't know Vin, then you definitely know his um, his paintings. He, he's the one who paints all the cool indie cars. He brought the Kringle over yes. to the campsite that I had zero self-control with. And let me just say, if, if, if you thought that getting on the scale at the doctor's office after the 500 was bad, because I did. I did. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, I had a doctor's appointment this week. On Tuesday, after Kringle and a weekend full of cheese curds. Yeah, that's not a fun time for a doctor. My eyeballs almost fell out of my head. <laughs> um, so thank you for bringing the Kringle. I think I ate an entire one by myself. Um, you, I mean, a lot of us had no self-control with it. Oh, it was so good. I bet Clifford and Doug just threw it away, too. I thought that about that on Sunday night, and then I was like, bitch, you don't need any more Kringle. <laughs> and then you're like, nope, we, first of all, we're not turning around. <laughs> right. I was like, um, you like, you're not buying new clothes, so you might as well just let that dream die. Uh, <laughs> oh, but yeah, great weekend overall. We had a little unplugged. Um, so had a had a small, small turnout for that. Um, but it was it was fun. We had we saw so many different people throughout the weekend all together. Um, yeah. I mean, you just can't help but have a great time at Road America. You got to go fuck around the golf cart. I mean, just good stuff. Yes, always. Always Mm. fun. And we got to meet Diane from Texas and her husband, um, which good for them for coming up all the way from Texas. Oh, no. And, oh, I can't. Oh, now I feel bad. The fan that we met at Pit Out. Um, we took our photo with her, and I am horrible with names. I, I didn't. Know. I didn't write it down. Um, Shoot. I know. I can see her. Anyhow, I sorry, we forgot I your am, name. Please tag us so we can say hey. Yes. You, you know. Yes. So Anybody sorry. who took photos with us that we didn't also take, um, 
please tag us when you post them um because we love that shit um oh wait 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 um it One was... of their name was Molly. One of them had Molly. And Jenny. Yep, Molly. I was like, wait, there was a whole reason That's why I right. wouldn't forget yes. this. Oh, yep, it I was Molly. It. Oh my and God. then, yep, and Molly was the huge fan. So it was, yep, Molly and Molly. And then, I think it was Jenny or Jenna. Molly was the fan. That's really all that matters to me. I know. Um, and then Jenny or Jenna's husband, who spotted us and was like, hey, will you come over? And we were like, uh, obviously. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Don't ever be afraid to come up to us, guys. We we love chit chatting and meeting new people and taking photos and <clears throat> you can totally fangirl out. We won't care, or we can all fangirl about the same driver. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, come Take on up, poison, really. Yeah, <laughs> dealer's choice. Dealer's like, choice. Dealer's we'll choice. Come on. Game for anything. So that's <laughs> right. Oh, I'm so glad you remember that because that was very fun. We had a good little chat with them. That's fun. Um, it was very fun. And then we're like sitting there and like the husband's taking photos of us girls. <laughs> and we're in the middle of the conversation. This was hysterical. This is um this will be my white flag. Yep, go for it. <laughs> and like they're fangirling over us and we're like, shit, come to the campsite. We don't have any stickers on us, da da da, da. and taking photos and this and that. And then literally roles between us interrupting our conversation is Robert Wickens, who not a single person stops. <laughs> I can't. And oh. you and I are just like, hey, Robbie. <laughs> Go right back. <laughs> God in heaven. <laughs> uh, I'm, yes, What's with Wiki. What's up, Robbie? <laughs> Continuing on. Oh. No, that was great. That was awesome. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah. So many good times. Um, Road America is just never a bad time. And it was, the weather was perfection. Oh, it was. Oh. We missed the storms on Thursday, so it was yeah. perfect. I'll tell you what, leaving Friday never sounded so good. Yeah, after this year. Yeah, when they were all like, oh, yeah, no, there were all these storms. We were like, oh, thank God we did leave on Friday, I guess. Yeah, like, <laughs> real glad about that. Yep. Uh, but yeah, no, that was that was good stuff. It was. Um, I, I can't top that as a white flag. I think we just waved the checkered. Well, I forgot the social media stuff, so. Okay. If you uh, would like to see more photos, hear more inside jokes, I don't know, check out some memes, read some blogs, you can follow all that on our website www.fastcarsfastgirls.com and fun little fact I learned today you probably can't go there because your work has it blocked but you know what you can go to is wordpress.com and you can search fast cars fast girls and then you can see it because that's our host site I learned that today I was like that's right that's why I changed how this looks when I uh when you type (laughs) it in so that I could still access it from work there you go for legal reasons, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> so again, fastcarsfastgirls.com, and you can actually listen to us directly from there. Make sure you like, subscribe, share us with your friends, write a review, do all that good stuff. Uh, Molly writes a wonderful blog on there. We've got a few partners that we um, that we promote who have worked with us um, this year and, and other years as well. Um, so pretty much everything that you ever want to know about FCFG, you can get to from our website, fastcarsfastgirls.com, including all of our social medias, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We are on all All, of the lines. All of the lines. And if you don't see what you want to, you know, if if going there doesn't ask, answer your questions, shoot, just shoot us a little email from the contact us, please. It goes yeah. right to us, and um, or if there's a, a podcast hosting site that you have found that we are not on that you prefer, well, we'll know. make sure to change that. So let us know. We'll be yeah. happy to. Yeah. We are here to please the people. We are the people's podcast. The people's podcast. All right. Now we you know why. You know what? And I'm going to quote Vin. I'm going to quote Vin on this because I feel like this really sums up who we are as a podcast and who we are as, as people. Um, okay. And he said, so... Are you guys going to go to the media center for Qualls? 
and we burst out laughing and we were like, oh, no, we'll be on fireman. So we're not media center kind of people. And he was like, see, this is what I like in media. This is what I like to see in media. I'm like, yeah, damn right. We are a podcast for the people. For the people. All right. Well, I guess we can wave the checkered then. Anything else you want to add? No, I think that's it. All right. Well, thanks for listening. If you didn't make it to Road America this year, don't worry. You can you can still come next year. It'll be just as good of a time. Goodbye.